We're back with more Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. This is part 6, and now it's time to head off to Maze Island again. Before we get too far into the video, I've got to go on a bit of a rant here. My mom just really fucking pissed me off big time. I mean, sure, I love my mom to death, but at the same time, she really ruffled my feathers in the worst possible way. I've said before that she doesn't really take me seriously when it comes to my YouTube videos, and it just gets to the point where I'm like, why are you even saying these things? I do these things not just for me, but for everybody who watches my stuff. I mean, sure, I'm a small-time gamer, and I will accept that, but at the same time, it's like, why do you gotta bust my balls like this? I do this to wind down after a stressful day at work, to be creative, to appeal to a fan base, and make other people happy over myself. I mean, granted, ah. Great. Waste of a perfectly good free life. Anyway, as I was saying, my mother just doesn't seem to understand that I do this not just for myself, but for everybody else around me because it's important to make people smile on a regular basis. Sometimes, yeah, you gotta watch out for yourself on a regular basis, but on the most part, you need to be there for everyone else around you. Your fans and your friends. <sighs> Fuck. She makes it seem like what I do is a waste of time. But if she understood the hard effort I put into these videos, maybe she wouldn't be so quick to judge. <sighs> anyway, as soon as I get past these stupid enemies, we'll be at Maze Island and we'll be ready to rock and roll. And there's our bridge. Now, you've already seen a couple of battle screens, so... I'm gonna try and go the quickest route possible. And hopefully it doesn't take too long to get to the palace. Okay, fight number one. Take you out. I want to put a fire spell for this because I know there's a tech knight up ahead. Nice. Gotcha! Okay, so we're off to a pretty good start. Okay. Now if I, let's see if I can remember the shortest way to go to get to the palace. I'm starting to think that this is not it. He's down and out, which is nice. That I got. Ah, you guys suck. And we were just rocking and rolling. Okay, let's continue. Long winding path. Holy smokes. Nice try! Okay, nice try. Shoot all the fire. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Mid air kill for the win! Aw, oh, no more? I expect more from you, Tektite. Keep me a challenge. Send out the army. Okay, leave. I don't care. <laughs> Chicken. You suck. Just gonna kill this guy first. Now I'll take it. Okay, and we will be on our way. Another battle screen cleared. Okay, let's go on up. Sometimes I want to go down this way. Where am I mistaken on this one? Yeah, let's go the up way. First ball again. Okay, so it takes six hits to down those fuckers. That just dropped, nice. Take that. Anyone else? Yeah, that's what I thought. All 
right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Maze Island Palace. This one's quite different. It starts off by having a MOA come right at us. And of course, it drops the fireballs. Holy hell, we'll turn it to our knuckle. Don't touch me, I don't watch cooties. Yeah, if I didn't mention before, that statue has the chance to either spawn a magic we fill or an iron knuckle. But it's neither here nor there, so let's begin. This is a perfect chance to test out the reflex spell. The wizard robes are weak to their own magic. Come on, that I got. Bounce the magic back at them, and 100 points is as good as yours. Unfortunately, first we don't have a key, so we gotta head this way. No biggie. Well, kind of a biggie. I mean, I did waste a bit of magic. Oh god, I want that. Oh, very nice. Well, I got it. That's good. Come on. Now you're mine. Bingo, bango, sugar in the gas tank. I'll let you live because you've got no pee bag to take from you. Stop here and I will go this way. Oops. Shit, I'm running a little life here. Better use my life spell before I die. I am gonna need my jump spell for this one. Here we go. Oh, oop! Oh, yeah. And the downward thrust is actually gonna be. Whoa! Fucking Doom Knocker! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! I am just living on the edge of glory, man! And another bloody Doom Knocker. Holy smokes! Look at that! When you're good, you're good, but when you're awesome, you gotta let it be known to the world. Oh, I wonder. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, I think from this point I'm going to want to jump down that hole that I used the jump spell to get over. All right, let's see. Right. Hi ho, Silver. Okay, we want to hug the right this time, I believe. Anti-fairy. Oh, and watch how pathetic they are when you have the downward thrust. It's still a bit of a pain in the ass to wait, but since I'm at level 5, it's much faster of a job. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Of course, we got our good old, our friend, the good old fashioned Doom Knocker. Ah, you little bastard. But I have the last laugh. Put on a shield for good measure. You bastards. Oh, pee bag. Bada bing, bada boom! Ah, oh, yes. Iron knuckle. And a blue one at that. You know what? I can mess around with you. I'm just gonna. Life spell. Come get me. I can get you out in the open. You'll be nothing but mincemeat. Crap. Gotta wait for the barrage to end. Alright, now you're mine. Yes! Got him! And beyond this locked door is our dungeon item. The boots. These boots will allow us to walk on water and find the fifth palace. And some pretty cool items as well. But having done that, let's be on our way and let's find the dungeon boss and put the screws to it. Let's start by going this way. Oh, I guess I have to drop down. Can I use the life spell? Nope, not quite. Okay. Right, because I know there's a key to be had. 
Nice try. And this dragon has a pathetic. Yep. Guess I remember this dungeon a little better than I thought I did. Come on, Doom Knocker. Don't knock until you try it. Go away. Thank you very much. Wait, there's a fast anti fairy in here. Container for that matter. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Those are the breaks, I guess. Oh, great. There was a way to glitch this guy out. Yes! Got him! Goodbye, Anti Fairy. Okay, now let's see if we can get through this dungeon without any more trouble. These fucking dragon heads are a pain in the ass, and they will just be the death of me. Bloody hell! And this new experience, too! Nice. I feel like I gotta go this way, too. Go away. Ah, crap. I was gonna die. Want some? Come get some. Actually getting pretty close to level up too. Hopefully I can actually live to see it. Oh god, not these things again. By this, that'll be great. Oh, wait, there's one coming behind me! Ugh, and he got me. But I got the last laugh. I got the key. So let's get out of here. Alright, let's find that elevator and get the fuck up back to the main floor. Because if I'm not mistaken, that is where you need to go to get the final key to open the boss room. That's a long ass elevator ride, too. Longer than I remember. But whatever. Nice try. I could have sworn there was another one here, but... Am I going crazy on that one? Okay. Through the key door. And we're just about finished. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, great. Fucking red iron knuckle. Not as bad as the right one! Don't fucking touch me! Of course, the red anti- the anti-fairy. Gotcha! <laughs> Better use a light just in case. And hopefully I do not run out of magic. Because I'm going to need as much magic as I can possibly get my fingers on. And these guys are pretty much chump change. Whoa! Leave me alone! No, 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 no! <sighs> Thank goodness for that. Sucker. <sighs> Perfect. None of those stupid wolves' heads to get in my way. At least I hope not. Yeah, I know it seems like I'm taking forever getting this, but I want that points bag. Because once I get it... Oh, yeah. Free life refill. And we are sitting on top of the world. Well, almost. Come on, like, just a little more. Stay alive for a little bit longer, and we'll be fine. Think about it this way. When you get past the dungeon boss, you get a nice reward and an upgrade to your attack. 
Whoa, Jesus. Of course, I gotta worry about the stupid Doom Knocker. Ah, crap, he got me still. But that second one didn't do jack shit to me. Kind of amazing. Ah! Blast you. This place seems a little more complex than I remember. Ah! Damn it! Fuck you! No! Are you fucking serious? Oh god damn you, Ganon! God damn you and your whole fucking army! How much you back where I left off? Okay, we're finally back. Back to more of these stupid dragons' heads. Just gonna remember. Come in pairs eventually. Nice try. Bitch. Guess what? I got your number, man. I kept your ass in my hand. Watch where I gotta go. Ah, perfect. There it is. Is that you? Fuck. Another red iron knuckle. Thank you. And go suck a bag of dicks. Everybody can go suck a bag of dicks. Well, not my viewers. I mean, I love them. I would never have them suck a bag of dicks. Alright, so let's be on our way. Nice try. Crap. Ugh. God damn. This thing's a real pain in the ass. Always taking unnecessary hits when you think you've got it. Combination of wizards and those fucking stupid ass things. You know what? Let's use the let's go. This is too difficult. Hell, no, not difficult at all. And once we get to the end of this hallway, we should be at the boss. And it's gonna be an easy boss at that. So nothing gets in my way. Gotcha. Wait, why am I even fighting these things? It's not that I need to fight them. Because the boss is right here. Oh, wait. Not there yet. Haha, <laughs> got him. Anyone else want to tangle? Ah, another way. Gotcha. Oh, nice. Okay, now we're at the boss. For this one, all you gotta do is equip the reflex spell. Crouch in the corner, and you're as good as gold. This is Karak. You cannot hurt him with any conventional attacks. You need to reflect his own attacks back at him. Do that, and it's only a matter of time before he bites the big one. But it's not foolproof because he can actually appear on top of you and cause extra damage that you don't need to take. Game, set, and match! Ah, missed the catch. But whatever. All good in the neighborhood, because, with the boss dead, we put the crystal in the statue, and that is the end of this dungeon. Our life and magic get refilled, and we get a free level out of the deal. And a very welcome one at that. Man, our stats are getting pretty buffed out. I mean, look at that. Six, six, and seven. I'm impressed. I'm making this game look like jump change. At this time, I think it's time to head back to Naburu. So let's take a little stroll across the coastline. No, do not adjust to your TV screen because we are actually walking on water. That's what boots allow us to do. In fact, before we close up the video, check this out. There's palace number five. And if I go through... Okay, here we go. This path will take us to where our next heart container will be. It's kind of unusual that we're walking on water and not sinking to our death. But it's all good because our seventh heart container, and long overdue with that. So now that we've got that taken care of, let's head back to the mainland and call it video. So, thank you each and every one of you for watching part six 
of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. When we come back, we're going to heal ourselves and take on house number 5, aptly titled Palace on the Sea. So until then, this is Jeremy saying thanks as always, and I'll see you next time.